I'm Antonia LaFaso, and this is my fresh tomato sauce with garlic, basil, and arugula. And I'm going to start with the garlic, because I already have the tomatoes halved. And I'm using cherry tomatoes here, but I can also use a large beefsteak tomato or, you know, softened heirloom tomatoes. Really, any tomato will work. So the best way to get this open, I just kind of like to hit it. And for this recipe, we're going to use four garlic cloves, depending on the size. If they're a little bit smaller, I would go five or six, but these are large chunks of garlic. So we're just going to go four. I love the smell of raw garlic. So these are my four garlic cloves that are perfectly cleaned, and now I'm just ready to chop them. Another great tip, if you want to take a little bit of salt and add that to your garlic, the salt tends to rub against the big chunks of garlic, starts to break down the fiber of the garlic a little bit quicker. So I've got my pan on medium. We're gonna add just a little bit of mild flavored olive oil, and then I'm gonna throw all of that garlic in the pan. You want it to slightly start to discolor, but you don't want it to get brown all the way around. Just when you start to see it, you've got your tomatoes, and your tomatoes are what's actually gonna stop that cooking process. So we're going to just throw the tomatoes in there. Again, we hear the sizzle, which is great. Uh, a little bit of salt. And I love to add a little bit of sugar to raw, fresh tomato. Tomato itself is already nice and sweet, but to help it along a little bit more and to add a little bit more sweetness to the tomato, adding a little bit of sugar is great. Now I'm going to leave the tomatoes. I don't want to touch them. I want the, the pan to really be able to get its heat back. So I'm going to leave them alone. I'm going to allow them to just kind of sizzle a little bit, and then we'll start to move them around. So the pasta is out of the water. It's at a little bit more than a room temp. And then this is your tomato sauce. You can see the tomatoes are perfectly just starting to break down, to wilt a little bit, releasing a lot of its liquid, but at the same time holding its shape. And that's what we're looking for. I have the basil, and I'm actually going to add the basil to the pasta because once I pour that hot sauce over the pasta, the basil will wilt, it won't cook, and we're really going to get a beautiful flavor of basil. Another ingredient that I like to add that's quick and easy and fresh is arugula. Adding arugula to the dish gives an element of crunch, it gives an element of bitterness. Um, again, this will wilt slowly as the hot sauce goes over the top of it, which will be fantastic. And now we're going to spoon this over the top of the pasta. And I'm going to reserve just a little bit in the pan for plating. The one last thing that every good Italian chef has is a nice hunk of Parmesan Reggiano and a grater. So the Parmesan cheese that I'm grating in there now is acting more as a seasoning component. We're going to actually garnish it with a chunk of Parmesan or shaved Parmesan for the dish itself. And you can see there how the basil's wilted and softened, as has the arugula. And then you're just going to go ahead and plate the spaghetti like so. Just going to spoon a little bit more tomato over the top. And then, of course, more Parmesan cheese, this time using a peeler, and done. So this is my fresh tomato sauce with garlic, basil, and arugula. Enjoy. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.